Hey everyone, and welcome to the Wyoming Knits YouTube channel. My name is Jenny Lee, and this is my channel where I like to talk about all things knitting. Today is Saturday, January 27th, and this is episode 27. I'm coming to you today from Southwest Wyoming, where I live with my husband, our daughter, and our little Yorkie, Dax. So today I have two finished objects and a few works in progress that I've been working on over the last week. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry. You can find me on Instagram as Jenny Lee Knits, and you can find me on Ravelry as Jenny Lee S. Knits. So, the first thing I finished this week was my Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. I used Knit Picks Wool of the Andes yarn in the Haze Heather color, and I used the, knit pick, or the Tin Can Knits app to... Um, follow along on the pattern. I really enjoyed using the app. I put in all my information, what size I wanted to use, or what size I wanted to make, and it um, calculates everything for me, and all I have to do is follow along. It only shows the size that I am knitting, and so you don't get lost with all the extra numbers. Um, this app is something I would highly suggest that you use if you want to do a tin can knits pattern. So, this is the Harvest Cardigan, and it has the garter collar, and then the garter edging, garter on the sleeves. So I will step back so you can see it covers just to there full coverage and I wore this to school a couple days ago um, I finished it uh, Monday or Tuesday and set it out blocking um, I can tell you which day I finished it let's see I finished, I started this one on November 25th and finished on January 23rd. So, took a little while. Um, my next finished object is the Scattering Petals Cowl by Dana Ray Makes. I used yarn I got in a um, December countdown box. It came with 31 colors, 30 mini skeins, and one main color. Um, the muscle burra hat I was wearing last week was the main color, and so this is all the minis. This was the beginning and the end where I kitchenered it together. You can kind of tell a little, but when you wear it, it's going to be nice and cozy. I haven't blocked this yet. I just finished it about 20 minutes ago, so it still needs blocked. Um, I really enjoyed making this. This is a ribbed pattern. You have a couple of setup rows. Um, I would highly suggest this for um, a bunch of leftovers or mini skeins that you would like to use. Um, the, um, the provisional cast on I used, I did the crochet cast on and I think I probably should have um, knit one full round and then went into the pattern because when I went to pick up the stitches, um, all the purl stitches, I had to actually pull the yarn out of the loop. So I had to 
pull, 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 pull the tail. And I ended up cutting the provisional um, yarn. And then um, I cut it like three or four times before I got all my stitches back on the needle because it was just getting too long while I was pulling it through the loop. And so I think next time I will do one full round of knitting because I have done a provisional cast on before where you just um, cast on and start knitting and then you fold it up and take out the provisional cast on and put that on um, a separate set of needles and that worked really well. Um, so I think maybe it was the purl stitches that were um, just tripping me up on that one. Um, so that is everything that I have finished this week. I have worked on a couple other things. So we'll go into works in progress. Um, you saw this sock last week and I have been working on the other sock. It's mate. It's living in a mountain state stitches bag. Um, I am ready for summer and spring and green again. I know winter has its place. I love to wear my warm hand knits in the winter, but green is my favorite color. I love spring. I love green. I love summer. And so I need some more green in my life in the winter. Um, I was about right here last time. This is just a vanilla sock. I usually follow the vanilla socks on nine inch circulars by the crazy sock lady. I cast on 56 stitches. I'm using a size zero nine inch circular needle and this cute little gummy bear progress keeper. I got, um, I'm not even sure it was in my box of progress keepers. So these are almost, I think I have, um, about 12 to 15 more stitches before I start the heel. So this will be easy um, nighttime knitting after school, after dinner, when we're watching TV. I'll be able to finish these maybe Monday or Tuesday. So then I can cast on my February socks. Um, I want to use up some of my Felici yarn, and so I've decided to do every month, um, instead of the Desert Vista Dye Works Challenge, I'm going to do my own Felici challenge and I'm going to cast on some of my Felici yarn right over here. Um, I think I have 16 or 18 skeins and so I can definitely do one year of Felici socks. Um, I'll do one every month for me or I might gift some of those this year. Um, they do have um, thick stripes. Um, I'm not really a thick stripe girl. Um, I would rather have yarn that is speckled and variegated for my socks. And so we'll see what happens with those. But I want to challenge myself to make at least one pair of Felici socks uh, every month. So. My next project is in my tea cake make bag with the cute little um, alpacas, llamas. This is one of the first project bags I ever bought myself. Um, here's the cute little tag. And this is another Zen yarn garden yarn. I bought a whole bunch on Zoo Lily a few summers ago and have been trying to work through it. Um, I'm making the Musselboro by Yuzolda Teague. And I think I was about right here last time. This cute little mushroom. 
So this is in the plain stockinette portion. No more increases until I get to the end. Um, this one might be on my needles for a while. It's something I just work on when I just need something stockinette in the round. And I love this green. So that is the only other thing I have been working on this week. Um, I have not received anything in the mail, but I did want to say thank you to everyone that um, commented on last week's video. I do have the subscriber appreciation winner, um, Lisa B. 3116. If you could contact me at wyomingknits at gmail.com or on Instagram, I am Jenny Lee Knits. And um, go ahead and contact me there and then I'll get your information. And I will get this in the mail as soon as possible for you. This is the um, Fizzle Pop color by Big Sky Fibers. All the cute colors in there. So thank you to everyone who commented. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And I will see you next week. Happy knitting!